What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a pretty exciting video for you guys. We're going to be working on my 2021 Road Glide and we're going to be changing out the hated stock shocks. As many of you guys know, if you have a newer touring bike, the stock Harley Davidson shocks that come on these bikes leave a lot left to be desired. The stock shocks are okay, but they're not great. Especially for someone like myself that mostly does solo riding and weighs well under 200 pounds, the stock shocks just absolutely beat me up. Now, I will say this, my 2021 Road Glide the stock shocks ride light years better than my 2014 Street Glide stock shocks. So obviously Harley Davidson did something to these shocks in those model years, but I do want to upgrade. We're gonna get to what I picked here in a second, but first I'm gonna just show you the stock shocks. So as you can see, that is the right side of the bike shock. And the Street Glide and Road Glide come with 12 inch shocks if you're unfamiliar. Get a look at the left side of the bike. As you can see, it's got the twist knob there to set your preload. So let me show you what I went with because we know there are plenty of brands out there to choose from and so many different variations between the brands that it gets a little stressful when you're trying to pony up 700 to $2,000 for shocks what the best option for you may be. So let's go check out what I got. Boom. So I got the Fox IFP QR3 shocks. I already went ahead a little bit here and peeked at them because I'm selfish and before I had time to record, I had to take a look at them for myself. Comes with a installation and owner's manual for setting your preload. One of the reasons why I went with these shocks over just like the standard Fox shocks is the fact that you can adjust the dampening. It has a damper control on there. So I kind of like that feature because it just gives you another option. Now these IFP QS3s that I went with, I went with the 13 inch variation. So I'm gaining a inch over my stock shocks. All right, so as you can see here, we got the shocks, the spanner wrench to adjust the preload, and we got a little baggie with a Fox sticker and just some washers and spacers if needed. I am only roughly 5'8", five, 5'9", five, on a good day. So I was worried about the flat footing because there are times that I can't flat foot the Road Glide now as is. I was a little concerned about going with 13 inch shocks, especially when you're in those situations where you're on a slight slope and you have to back up the bike. You know, that becomes a little bit of a problem sometimes. As far as ride quality, considering that most of my riding is on flat road and highways, I figured just to go with the 13 inch shocks and sat on other people's bikes that run 13 inch shocks. And I honestly didn't really notice a difference. So that's why I kind of went with these. Now, just a little bit more why I went with Fox over some of the other competitors, such as Progressive, Olin's, Legends, Wilbur's, etc etc so i've been running fox shocks on my jeeps a little while now and i just love the quality of their shocks and i love the way they rode also because fox has been in the business for a quite a long time they specialize in like mountain biking and off-road baja racing and stuff so they obviously have been doing it a long time on different platforms. So without further ado, let's get wrenching on the bike and get these shocks changed out. All right, so as you can see, we are set up here to start taking the shocks off. I'm gonna be using a three quarter inch, half inch drive socket. As you can see, I have a towel laid down just in case something gives out, you know, rather be protected than unprotected. Just gonna go ahead and get both of these loose a little bit. One bolt out on the last one. All right, so the left side shock is off. 
Now we can go ahead and repeat the process on the right side of the bike. And obviously as you can see, we have the bike jacked up. You are going to need some sort of a bike jack or bike lift to perform this job. And that's because when you remove the shocks, the rear tire is gonna drop. So you physically need something to either jack up the rear tire or drop the rear tire to get the new shocks aligned up. But other than that, you can see it's basically just basic hand tools to perform this job. All right, so with both of these off, let's go compare these side by side with the new shocks. So as you can see, we got the old shocks here. We're gonna be measuring eyelet to eyelet. They are right there at the 12 inch, whereas the new ones from eyelet to eyelet measure right at 13. So that extra inch is gonna be a noticeable difference in ride. At least that's what we're hoping for, but you can just tell the difference in quality of the stock shocks to the Fox shocks. Like this, this spring right here, man, this thing looks chintzy. And this one just looks way heavy duty. So, so now we can go ahead and start to install the new shocks. And like I said earlier, it comes with spacers. We'll find out here in a second if these are needed. It also comes with washers too, but we're just gonna be reusing the old ones. So those shouldn't be needed. So let's get back to the bike. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of red Loctite just to reassure that these bolts don't come loose later on because that would not be fun. So we're using the same stock hardware. I'm gonna be just putting the bottom bolt in first. All right, so we had a little bit of a change of plans here. So with going with a longer shock and the stock slash aftermarket pipe, we had an issue when it came to raising the rear wheel back up to align the top bolt. Bottom shock bolt was hitting the bottom of the pipe, which there again, that's why we cover it up. So no damage was made to the pipe. But what we had to do was, size is gonna vary depending on whatever pipes you guys have. We had to just take these and loosen them up just a little bit. So that way when we jacked up the bike, we can just get a little bit of flexibility here, just enough to get the top bolt in, and then we didn't have an issue. So just be aware of that, that's something you might have to do. But if you're running like a two into one pipe or whatever that comes short of where the saddlebags would be, or sweeper pipes, that won't pertain to you, you should be fine. But that's just something we had to do on both sides. So with the right side installed, let's go over to the left side and get that thrown on. Like the other side, a little bit of Loctite. All right, so both of these are snugged up. I'm just gonna go over to the other side as well, now that he's sitting on the bike, and make sure those are snugged up. All right, so now at this point, we can just check for our proper sag. So as far as Fox shocks, they have a torn section, Dyna section. So we have the 13 inch shocks. So with the person sitting on the bike, we're gonna measure eyelet to eyelet. As you saw before, they're 13 inch shocks. So Fox is saying anywhere from 11 and 7 eighths to 12 and 1 eighths is what it should measure with the rider on the bike. So we're gonna test that theory out right here and hopefully it is right. So yeah, we are right around 12. So that's good to go then. So that's gonna wrap up the install on the Fox shocks. The only thing that's left to do now that the install is done is to take it for a test ride.
Okay, so I just got back from my first ride with the Fox Shock. I can honestly say these things are amazing because I hit a good pothole. Didn't jolt my back, but we did something to the front rim. Let's take a look. Yeah, so uh, the Fox Shocks kept me comfortable, but the uh, front rim, not so much. So now we got to deal with that. So stay tuned. It's so hard for me not to laugh um, after that because you know, sometimes you get thrown with inconvenience after inconvenience after inconvenience in life and all you can do is just kind of laugh it off and you can fix all things in life with a better attitude and more money. So just like this inconvenience, life is what you make of it. But overall, I'm very impressed with these Fox Shocks. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, comment and subscribe and ride safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.